Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so this was a very unexpected video tonight. Um, I was just in prayer and the Lord just placed this message on my heart to share with you guys. Um, I mean to share with anybody who stumbles upon my channel. Um, and it's about drinking and getting drunk and what God's word says about it. So, um, I just wrote down a couple of scriptures here, um, of what the Bible says about drinking and getting drunk. So I'm just going to start with Proverbs since I'm in that book right now. Um, so it's going to be Proverbs 23 verses 20 and 21, which says, Do not join those who drink too much wine or gorge themselves on meat. For drunkards and gluttons become poor and drowsiness clothes them in rags. So that's one of them. Next, I'm going to go to the book of Ephesians. I always have a problem. These pages stick together. <clears throat> it's going to be Ephesians 5 here. 518, which says, Do not get drunk on wine which leads to democracy. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Okay, so that's another one right there. Let's go to Galatians. So it's going to be Galatians 5, verse 21 here, which says, An envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like, I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. So basically, the word is just trying to say, just to stay sober, do not get drunk. I mean, if you're drunk and, you know, this is, this is a message for the people who are living, you know, in the world. If you go out, you get drunk. Let's say the Lord comes to rapture his church and you're out getting drunk. You're getting left behind. You're going to stay left behind. Point blank. Okay. First Peter. Let's go to first Peter here. I even know where I'm going. First Peter 5. 8. Which says, be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking to devour someone. Resist him standing firm in faith because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. I mean, so there it just says, you know, that, you know, the enemy is always trying to get us to fall. The enemy is always trying to... um you know, trying to get us away from the Lord, trying to tempt us with anything that he can. And Christians just have to stay strong in their faith and, and know how to resist the devil. Okay. So that was, okay, let's go to first Corinthians. First Corinthians six. So it's going to be six ten, which says, Nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderder, slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. It says it right there. Drunks. You will not inherit the kingdom of God. Okay, let's go to 1 Corinthians 3.16. 16 and 17, which says, Do you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in your minds? If anyone destroys God's temple... 
God will destroy that person. For God's temple is sacred. And you together are that temple. So, and that's part of it also, you know, with, you know, you do, you put negative things into your body, you know, you're ruining God's temple. Your body is, is God's temple. Um, so this was a message for uh, many out there, just, um, you know, because I don't want to see anybody perish. And, and the most important thing is that the Lord's coming again and he's coming quickly and we, we want, we all want to be sober when he comes so we can be taken up in the air with him. And, um, and just live together in the kingdom of God. So, um, I'm just glad you guys watch my videos and, um, thank you for bearing with me with, with this unexpected video. Have a good night.